is the kind of match every football fan looks forward to. A lot on the line and the likelihood of a tension-packed occasion. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live here on EA TV. Hello, a very good evening to you. This is the scene here at the Lusail Stadium, just to the north of the Doha city centre. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me in the commentary box, providing expert analysis, is Stuart Robson. And both teams looking to get off to a flying start here on match day one for them at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It's Belgium versus Canada. Well, thanks, Derek. This is such an important game. Both sides will be desperate to start this group well. Let's hope we see some great football today. The starting players for Belgium. Thibaut Courtois is the keeper of choice. Jason Denier plays with Toby Alderweireld in central defence. Hans Van Aken plays with Yuri Tielemans in the centre of midfield. And in attack, Aidan Azar starts alongside Romelu Lukaku. And here's the starting lineup for Canada. Well, in this shape, if they're wide players, stay high up the pitch and get enough of the ball, it's a very attacking lineup. But if they drop too deep, they will then leave the centre forward isolated, and it could be difficult for them. And now they get the ball rolling. He's got space. This looks promising. And the attack carried promise, but petered out. Well, I think with Belgium, it's a question of whether or not they can fulfill their potential. And quite frankly, Stuart, we've been asking that question of them for quite some time now, haven't we? Yes, we have, but I think they're probably... Oh, hang on, Stuart, it's a chance! And it goes! An early opening statement in this match! And look at the celebrations! Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. Back underway, and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Jonathan Osorio, perfect challenge. Oh, the threat is there. A corner will ensue. Elects to go short. And giving the ball away. Well, that's wonderful attacking play. And a chance to level it. Oh, good work by the keeper. Minier. De Bruyne now. 
promising looking attack from Belgium Meunier now with Tielemans being egged on by the crowd oh incredible save and he snuffed out any sign of danger Delivering it. Applying vigorous pressure. Tielemans. This might be ideal for the counter. Real chance. Well, the keeper was called upon and delivered. Well, he's so good in those 1v1 moments and he's proved it yet again. Short corner routine. Growing pressure here, and another corner. Trying to deliver it accurately. Courtois with the easy save. Tielemans Anakin now De Bruyne can they hit on the break Lukaku will it be Lukaku oh a goal and that wasn't part of the plan a known goal it is and no wonder his head is slumped Well, no question about this. As you can see, this will go down as an own goal. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. Space afforded him. An effective challenge. Well, no surprise there. Belgium have had more of the possession. Yes, they've played well when going forward, but it's been their ability to regain the ball which has made them so hard to play against here, and it makes them such a good team. It's been a brilliant performance so far. Bodies forward, and the break looks on. They all know their roles as they apply the pressure. De Bruyne. Superbly read and executed. Throw into Belgium then. And still looking for space. Well, here we can see it again, and no wonder the manager is furious. They just have to get tighter here, deal with the danger, otherwise that's the outcome. Not good enough defensively. Well, you've got to say, an incredible first-half performance. That scoreline tells you all you need to know. Alfonso Davies and space for them here on the flank. A fine reading of the situation. It's there for him. It must go in, surely. And the keeper nowhere to be found. Not that he's complaining.
Well, as you can see, the defending is really poor, but he won't mind. It's a simple finish for him. to begin with well they survived the attack Tielemans Van Aken and intercepts again so two minutes to be added on at the end Alfonso Davies a real opening now Well denied by the keeper, but really he only has himself to blame. And so it is, the first half story has been written. A really productive performance from Aidan Azar so far, and he's been a real handful for the defenders, you've got to say, Stuart. Well, he's been at his best today. He just seems to get his shots away so easily, and he's taken his goals really well. Brilliant stuff from him. Underway once more, and Belgium very much in charge after the first 45. Are we in for more of the same here? Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? Can he get one back? Straight offside, but only just. Lukaku Carrasco Oh, dealt with by the goalkeeper Sam Adekubi And with that, the attack fizzles out Good pressure high up the pitch. Oh, that's a really good run. It has to be. Oh, terrific save. Well, you're absolutely right. That's a top-class save. Just look how he reacts. Can someone get on the end of this? It might still be problematic. And thwarted by Vertonghen. Another corner, hot on the heels of the last one. Who can he pick out? Still not clear. Well, they can keep possession of it now. Lukaku. A room to roam on the wing. Could play it in. And now here's Aiden Azar. Well, nearly shaving the crossbar with that powerful effort. Hazard. 
being egged on by the crowd. Hazard, defensive excellence there. De Bruyne. Oh, good defending to stop a decent-looking attack. David. Into the advanced position. And let's give credit to the defending. Aiden Azar. And a chance for him on the flank. No possibilities in the centre. Opportunity. And a goal! Wonderful stuff as they accelerate away from the opposition. Well, it's a very simple finish in the end, but his movement was really good. He just found himself a bit of space in the box when it mattered most. start the game it's fair to say the gulf in quality between the two sides has been huge and plenty of room in the wide area oh a smart stop and nicely parried away so making the substitution now And there's the delivery. Not to be advised giving the ball away there. Carrasco. Intense pressure. Van Aken. A fox really. Azar. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Losing possession. Ten minutes left for play. Tielemans. Plenty of support here. Lukaku. This might be ideal for the counter. And now, passing it through. He might be able to make it through. Well, it was a brilliant break, but no goal as a result. Well, forget the finish and just admire the way they counter-attack there. They did it with such pace and quality. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Dendonka. De Bruyne now. Tielemans. And Witzel with it. Lukaku. Carrasco. Now Azar. And a body in the way.
element of risk there but he's won the ball well you can tell what the fans think of that decision they're certain it should have been a penalty and there it is that will do nicely for Belgium they prevailed in this game and Stuart as always keen to get your analysis well Derek what a good performance that was they did most things right and their attacking play was inventive and had a real cutting edge that was a really dominant display from them today Understandable that the cameras should zoom in on Aidan Azar on the back of this. Well, that was a great performance. His understanding of how to find space was brilliant today. And, of course, he scored two really good goals.